The topic of this lecture will be how structure affects nucleophilicity. Nucleophilicity is the strength of the nucleophile. Because stronger nucleophiles react more quickly, knowing the strength of your nucleophile will help you predict the mechanism by which that nucleophile will undergo a nucleophilic substitution reaction. The nucleophilicity or strength of the nucleophile is affected by several features. The first is the charge of the atom acting as the nucleophile. A nucleophile with a negative charge will be a stronger nucleophile than a similar neutral species, with all other things being equal. Another way to look at this is that a base is always a stronger nucleophile than its conjugate acid. Let's look at an example. We can see how charge affects nucleophilicity by comparing methanol and methoxide ion. In both cases, it is a lone pair on the oxygen that is acting as the nucleophile. But methoxide, with its negative charge, reacts a million times faster than methanol. Its negative charge and the additional electron density that comes with that makes methoxide the stronger nucleophile. Another thing that affects the strength of a nucleophile is the electronegativity of the nucleophilic atom. Remember that electronegativity is a measure of how much an atom wants electrons. Therefore, a more electronegative atom holds its non-bonding electrons more tightly. This means that those lone pair electrons are less reactive to forming new bonds, making the atom a worse nucleophile. Again, let's look at some examples. If we compare ammonia and water, the nucleophilic atom on the left in ammonia is nitrogen, and in water it is oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, meaning it holds its lone pairs more tightly, those lone pairs are less available to form a new bond, making water the weaker nucleophile. What if we compare hydroxide ion and fluoride ion? In hydroxide ion, the oxygen is the nucleophilic atom. In the fluoride case, fluorine is the nucleophilic atom. Because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, hydroxide ion is the stronger nucleophile, and fluoride ion is the weaker nucleophile. Another thing that affects nucleophilicity is the size of the nucleophilic atom. A larger atom is more polarizable, meaning its electrons can move around more. This makes it more nucleophilic. Polarizable means that the electrons are held more loosely. That means they're more easily able to move towards the positive charge and act as a nucleophile. Let's look at an example. If we compare the nucleophilicity of the fluoride ion versus the iodide ion, iodide is larger than fluoride, is therefore more polarizable and therefore a better nucleophile. The final thing that affects the nucleophilicity of a compound is its sterics. A more sterically hindered nucleophile will react more slowly because it will have more trouble getting in close enough to react with the electrophile. Let's look at an example. T-butoxide has a much more sterically hindered nucleophilic atom than does methoxide ion. Because T-butoxide is more sterically hindered, it will react more slowly and be the weaker nucleophile. Methoxide, due to its lack of steric hindrance, will be the stronger nucleophile and will react more quickly.